Oh. Oh, my. Hi, Rand. What you doing? I was just reading John chapter 20, and I discovered something amazing. Well, I know someone named John. In fact, I know a whole lot of Johns. There's Grandpa John and Uncle John and Cousin John. I mean, Grandpa says a family can never have too many Johns. Well, this John happens to be in the Bible. Well, let me guess. You have one of those Jesus-y stories to tell me. It's so exciting, Doogie. Well, all right. Let's hear it. From John 20, verses 19 to 20. Later on that day, the disciples had gathered together, but fearful of the Jews, had locked all the doors in the house. Jesus entered, stood among them, and said, Peace to you. Isn't that exciting? Um, Red, I go in and out of the house all day, and no one says I'm exciting or amazing. I mean, they might say, my feet are dirty, or shut the door. But no one says I'm amazing or exciting. No, Dookie, you don't get it. The disciples locked the door, and then Jesus walked inside. Oh, you mean, you mean Jesus picked the lock? I don't think they had locks like ours in those days. They usually had a piece of wood that fit across the door and blocked it so it couldn't open. You mean that Jesus could magically raise things in the air? I mean, he raised that piece of wood up into the air and then opened the door. Or it means he could walk through walls. Cool. I didn't know that about him. Now think. You're in a room hiding from people who want to hurt you. And your best friend Jesus has just died. Then all of a sudden, Jesus appears in the room with you. What would you do? Whoa, that would scare the liver out of me. I'd probably scream, uh, wet my pants, and uh, try to get out of the room. And that's probably what the disciples did. That's why Jesus immediately said, peace be with you. I tell you, if I saw a ghost, it would need to say something more than peace be with you. He did. He showed them his hands where the holes were from the spikes. The soldiers pounded into them. Ooh, ooh don't tell me. That's, it's creepy. Doogie, you put worms on hooks when you go fishing. That's creepy. Yeah, but worms aren't people. Do you want me to continue this story? Uh, I guess so. I mean, I like to know how stories end. Okay. The disciples seeing Jesus with their eyes were exuberant. Exuba what? Exuberant. It means really happy and excited. Oh. So they went from screaming in fear and running around in circles to shouting and dancing in joy. They were certainly a noisy group. Uh, sounds like my kind of people. Then Jesus repeated his greeting and said, Peace to you. Just as the Father sent me, I send you. Whoa. Sounds like he was sending them out to work. I don't like to work. Dookie. Life is work, but that doesn't mean work is bad. When you go canoeing with your grandpa, you have to paddle the boat around the water, and it's a lot of work. Yeah, but that's fun work. It's fun because you decide it's fun. If work seems awful, then change your attitude. Oh, you mean like, yay. I get to take out the garbage. Yep. Well, you won't find me saying, Hey, I get to clean the toilet. I hate that job. But you can't say, 
Yay! I have a toilet. I don't have to dig a hole for us to use. Oh, yeah, I guess so. By choosing to change our attitudes, we can become a peaceful people. And Jesus said, peace be with you. Right. And here's the last verse. Eight days later, the disciples were again in the room. Jesus came through the locked door, stood among them, and said, Peace to you. I guess peace was really important to Jesus. I mean, he said it three times. It still is. All through his ministry, Jesus wanted people to be peaceful. So the moral of this story is, before you go inside, wipe off your feet. And then shut the door and say, peace be with you. Then everyone will be amazed. I'm sure they would if you did that. Actually, I think my mom would faint. Being peaceful is a choice and takes some work. It's easy to be angry because that's when you lose control of yourself. Jesus wants us to be peaceful. Yep, and then we can walk through locked doors. No, Doogie, you can't walk through doors. Oh, I can if God wants me to. You're right. If God wants you to, you can do anything. But I have to be peaceful. Right. Okay, so let's go get a bag of potato chips and crush them up peacefully. I'll show you how to stuff them in your mouth without getting too many crumbs all over the place. Oh, Doogie.